What's up guys, Monknum Gaming here, back with another Elden Ring video. Guys, I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been going through a few things, couldn't really get on and make any videos, but I'm back. Um, guys, if this video helps you out in any type of way, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing, let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you have any questions about this build. Alright guys, let's get into it. This is the uh, great sword I'm using, the Marius Executioner Sword. I probably butchered that, but oh well, you guys can see it right there. Um, I really, really like the sword. It does great damage, especially when you get it to plus 10. It doesn't cost that much FP to use the Dancing Blade. Now, the Dancing Blade looks like this. it's pretty cool it does a lot of damage and guys with the new update you don't have to do that final slash if you roll right here boom it cancels it so if you're missing or something like that you don't have to be stuck in that animation which is great because it helps out a lot sometimes you'll miss you got to get kind of closer than what you think and guys you can do that two different ways um, on PlayStation hitting L2 is what puts out the dancing blade if you tap it it's gonna work but not as well what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hold it and you're gonna charge it and that's gonna that's gonna make a big big difference okay now let's go in I have a seal to use golden vow now guys that golden vow it will boost your attack and your defense so it's a really good incantation to have I use it before I get into boss fights and then if you have friends playing with you or even your mimic tier it will uh it will give them increased attack power and uh defense now to get that incantation you have to go up around here And right here you should have a uh, a side of grace. I don't have it right now. I just got the new game plus, so I'm uh, I'm a little bit behind right now. But once you get to this area right here, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to come up to this uh, corpse stench shack. And right inside of that shack, you're gonna have it. It's laying on a dead body in the middle of the shack. You guys go ahead and pick that up. Um. Now to get the sword, the Myra's Executioner's sword, you actually got to come right here to the Shaded Castle, guys. And there is a boss in here that you need to defeat, the Elmer of the Briar. And once you defeat him, he will drop the sword to you. And that's how you get that. Now, let's get into my talisman because these talisman and everything that I'm showing you guys is going to pair with this sword okay it raises attack power with successive attacks this this works perfect when you use that because it's gonna hit them a lot of times it's gonna sit there and spin and each time it spins it's gonna hit them I don't know the actual count of many times it hits them but it's a lot and each time it'll hit them the attack power is going up guys it's massive okay now to get this you need to go to the Stillwater cave which is right down here Stillwater cave guys and once you get in here you got to go through and you just beat the boss in the Stillwater cave and he will drop this insignia to you only warning for that is uh, it's pretty easy, but just watch out for poison. Okay, guys, he does, a, you know, there's a lot of poison stuff on the ground. And um, he'll actually poison you himself, I think. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on. We're going to go with uh, Godfrey's Icon. Godfrey's Icon... Sorry guys, 
<laughs> it enhances your charge spells and skills so like I said guys for this thing to do to work right you have to charge up so I'm holding L2 or you know whatever it is for you guys on Xbox and PC you're gonna charge that attack and that's gonna help you a lot it's gonna enhance it it's gonna make everything a little better on top of that it's gonna this is gonna make it even better and let's see how to get that guys so you're gonna go to the uh, Altus Highway Junction all right that's up here guys you're gonna have to use the grand lift of Decus and we're gonna come out to right here there's gonna be a a gray site right here called Altus Highway Junction okay and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to uh, follow the cliff side kind of south and southwest and come down here and you're gonna want to go into the Golden Lineage Everdale uh, go down in there defeat the uh, defeat the boss and you're gonna have to use a stone swords key to do this okay you get that stone uh, stone sword key and stick it in there go down to the other jail kill the boss he's pretty easy and you're gonna get the Godfrey icon the next one's gonna take you a little while guys this is Millicent's Prothesist. I think I said that right. Not sure. But this is going to boost your dexterity, which is going to help you carry that sword. And um, it's going to raise it, your attack power with successive attacks. Now, to get this, guys, you got to do uh, Millicent's quest line. Um, her quest line, is, is it takes a while. But once you get down to the end of it, you're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have a, a choice to make, and it's either help her or challenge her. Guys, to get this one here, you have to challenge her, which fortunately means you gotta kill her. You'll be summoned um, instead of helping her against some other guys. You're gonna be summoned with the other guys to take her down. And uh, it's it's really easy to kind of take her down. Well, at least it was uh, for me. I don't know about you guys, but she's going to actually end up up here by the Halleck tree. Now, guys, if you don't know how to get here to the Halleck tree, I'm gonna put a uh, link in the description below that's gonna uh, show you guys how to get to this area because there's other things here in this area that we need to get which I'll cover that here in a minute the next thing we need to have is the shard of Alexander now in order to get the shard oh well, let's see the greatly boosts the attack power of your skills guys this is gonna help out a lot uh, everything is boosting the attack power of this sword and the attack power is already outrageous it really is and this is going to greatly uh boost it now to get the shard of alexander you got to complete uh alexander the pot's quest line uh, don't don't kill him guys i'll show you where he's at He's actually right over here in the beginning parts, right here, right by the uh, War Master Shack. If you follow this road coming down, I believe there's actually uh, another side of Grace right here. But guys, he's stuck right there. They hit him with a heavy attack, dude. He says, and and he'll pop out. Just make sure you don't kill him. If you kill him, he will give you a shard. Uh, but he won't give you the shard of Alexander. He, he gives you another one that's kind of like it, but it doesn't greatly boost. It just boosts. And I suggest you get the one that greatly boosts because it's just going to be even better. I mean, why not? And now for the final couple of items we need here. This is going to be the mix in the Flask of Wondrous Physique. 
getting this magic shrouded cracked here it's going to temporarily boost your magic attacks this is a magic attack and it's a skill so it's kind of both and to get this you have to go to a minor herb tree right up over here guys there it is you come to this minor earth tree i mean it's just a little northeast this is the academy here and guys if you want to get here you just come on up right here and just follow the roads you follow the road keep coming around get on up here get to this minor earth tree defeat that up uh, earth tree avatar and he's going to give you, I think, the, uh, the magic and then like, like two or three other ones. He's going to give you a couple of uh, cracked tears. And now for the last thing, you need the thorny cracked tear. A temporary boost successive attack power. Again. So we're getting boost on top of boost on top of boost for excessive uh successive attacks okay so each time you're hitting somebody it's going up your attack power is increasing like crazy now to get this one here guys we have to come up over here now guys it's right here by this minor herb tree but to get to this area you have to do you have to get the the secret medallions i come up the grand left of roll like you're going to the erd tree i mean the hallig tree i'm sorry the hallig tree up here because what it's going to do it's going to put you right here to the hidden path of the hallig tree and you guys are going to make your way up to ordina here there's a side of grace right here and once you guys do that, you can want to come over this way and come to this minor earth tree and beat that earth tree avatar, and you get the uh, thorny cracked tear. All right. Well, that's all that I'm using right now, and I am actually about to fight Ronaldo. And as you guys know, I don't, uh, I don't speed anything up. I don't do. Uh, no, look what I can do, even though you see they probably died like four times. Now, I'm going to show you guys this in real time. I haven't gotten in there yet. I don't have a fog door. Nothing. All right, guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of kind of tiptoe in here. And I'm going to put him out. Do that. Get myself prepared, guys. All right. Let's see if Ranala can beat me. Nah, we don't need to see this. Now, this is real time, guys. So, here we go. Let's see what I can do. What we want to do for Ranala is fine. the kid that's doing yep that's doing that that's gonna break her her uh, her bubble here that's what we want to do guys all right now she's about to come down and I'm gonna hit her with it Now that was me and my mimic here hitting her with it. I mean, guys, you can see the damage. It is ridiculous. And this is new game plus, guys. New game plus, and I just tore through her like it wasn't nothing. Completely tore through her. All right, we're gonna skip that. We're gonna go to phase two. Run to her. 
and hit her with it again. Now, guys, that was just me hitting her with it that time. Took her full health, over 9,000. And that's it. I mean, come on, guys. This sword is completely ridiculous. This whole build is out of this world. And you could, you could do this. Um, I think you have to probably be at least a level. I don't know. I'd say about 130 or so, 120. Because you, you have to get the stats, guys. And once you get uh, Ranala here, you could actually respect your, uh, your points and everything. But guys, my stats right now, I put, you put a lot in arcane, um, strength and, uh, vigor. Now, afterwards, I, I've been going ahead and I've been just rune forming and I got my endurance and everything up because guys, when I first started using this thing, um, uh, I didn't put really anything in endurance and I was basically running around naked and... I actually beat the last few bosses running around naked because this weapon's so powerful. It, it it is completely ridiculous how powerful this thing is. So you got to make sure you go ahead and you have you know at least a 24 strength, 23 arcane, 14 dexterity. I put a lot into arcane because it boosts the the attack power of this blade so much. And um that's about it, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a good one.